what are some good ideas for a business on leaving the rat race or moving into another area where you can make money, be more sovereign and not work for someone else? Yeah, so I, um, but, and look, whenever I give this answer, it's always what I'm doing or what I'm looking at. It's businesses that are essential or businesses that um, doesn't matter what happens going forward will always be needed. Utilities, plumbers, um, um, uh, tires for cars, mechanical services for cars, non um, I, I do think we'll end up with a, a fair few electric um, cars around. So you want to be able to repair um, the electric system or battery systems. Um, so more electric or automotive, but you're still going to have suspension um, uh, components on vehicles that are still going to be needed, panel shops and all that sort of stuff because dickheads are still going to run into each other. Um, food production. Um, and uh, lately I've been looking more towards hydroponics, um, uh, aquaponics, um, greenhouse style um, production of food, pu purely from the basis of um, a lot of the food stuffs that I see that get into short supply pretty quick, we can actually grow in greenhouses closer to, to cities uh, or um, closer to where they're needed. So um, there's that type of stuff Chickens, of course, for, for poultry, pork, um, cattle. Um, but having, and, and what, what I look at is don't just be um, one thing. Be a bit vertically or horizontally integrated. Because uh, what I find with a lot of Australians is, and, and because we're a rich country, we, we tend to be able to do this and get away with it, is that if I'm a farmer, I'm just a farmer. And if you have a look at some of the very, uh, wealthy farmers um, that uh, that especially some of the ones that I know of um, that are in the, the vegetable space and that they're a bit more vertically or horizontally integrated so they do multiple crops for instance so that's that's the horizontal but they're also the packers and they, they also own fruit and veg shops so they're also the distributor um, and so they have their own dis distribution uh, and retail outlet and online. So one of the guys in Bundaberg has his own online business selling directly wholesale to restaurants. So if you're a restaurant in Melbourne, you can go to his website, um, go in and it'll be delivered to, directly to you from, from his warehouse. So um, anything like that where you can become a bit more vertically integrated. Semi-rural, so location-wise, um, on the fringes of markets. Um, so uh, what I call a market is anywhere in Australia, a market's anywhere 85, 80, 85,000 population above. Um, so anywhere sort of within an hour's drive of those sort of places, um, you'll have somewhere to sell your goods to, um, and, and that's the stuff. And it's a big enough population base that um, you can actually have um, three or four businesses that are that are all linked together and survive. And a lot of those markets are losing people because they're all moving to the cities. Like their kids are moving to the cities and all that sort of stuff. So, um, you know, if you're an essential business in that area, uh, you're, you're, you're the baker, the butcher, you know, you, you roll up all them together and have it as one food market, um, you, you are probably going to do really well going forward and that sort of stuff. 